In Ukraine, heavy fighting is reported near the Russian-occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Kiev officials warned that it might have to shut down the plant to avoid disaster. According to Ukrainian military, some villages and communities near the plant were heavily shelled in the last 24 hours. Earlier, Ukraine called on residents near the embattled facility to evacuate for their own safety. Russia and Ukraine have blamed each other for shelling that has occurred close to the plant and within its perimeter, risking nuclear catastrophe. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky says Ukraine was successful to recapture settlements in the Kharkiv region. This week we have good news from the Kharkiv region. Probably you have all seen the reports about the activity of Ukrainian defenders. And I think every citizen feels proud of our warriors. This is a well-deserved pride, a proper feeling. Now is not the time to name the settlements to which the Ukrainian flag is returning but it is time to say words of gratitude to the 25th Airborne Brigade, the 92nd Separate Mechanized Brigade and the 80th Air Assault Brigade for their bravery and heroism displayed during the execution of combat missions. Now, over in the Odessa region, an explosion at a power plant disrupted electricity supplies to 360,000 people. According to the local administration, Russian forces overnight fired rockets and heavy artillery into towns in several districts. The attack killed seven civilians and injured others, damaging more than a dozen houses and buildings. Meanwhile, during a UN Security Council session on Wednesday, Russia was accused of committing war crimes by forcefully deporting Ukrainian citizens, including children. Incredible allegations of forced transfers of unaccompanied children to Russian-occupied territory or to the Russian Federation itself. We are concerned that the Russian authorities have adopted a simplified procedure to grant Russian citizenship to children without parental care, and that these children would be eligible for adoption by Russian families. Under Article 50 of the Fourth Geneva Convention, the Russian Federation is prohibited from changing these children's personal status, including nationality.